my my in-laws, my, my future in-laws, can I call you my in-laws? <laughs> um, for everything you've done for hosting this, and uh, I'm so excited to be part of this family. You've been loving and accepting since day one. Um, I want to express a card to to my parents for uh, for loving me and raising me uh, all these years, my whole life, and uh, to my my siblings uh, for for doing the same for you know, for your support throughout all the years. Um, <laughs> uh, my siblings. Um, I want to also express a karasa to, uh, to the people who helped make today happen for very specific reasons. I want to thank, I want to thank Ellie. I want to thank my parents. Uh, again, I want to thank, you know, my in-laws. I want to thank, <laughs> I want to thank uh, my friends Aaron and Rachel. Uh, uh, I want to thank uh, my friend Shmuel, uh, my my grandmother who's, who's not here today. She's, but um. And I, uh, I would like to also relate a uh, very short Bar Torah from uh, this past week's Bar Torah um, Lakhva. And I want to thank uh, Akiva as well, um, also. <laughs> well, it's, 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 I, I didn't say what any of the Bar Torah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, it says in this week, in, in Lakhva, Perek Tefa Pasuke, Hashem is uh, talking to Abraham. He says, Bayote uh, Oso Bachutza, right? Uh, you should go outside. Right. Uh, right. Gaze upon the heavens, uh, and count the stars into Chalus Horosam if you're able to count them. Um, and uh, it says that right. and Abraham had faith, you know, in Hashem, and this was considered to be something of righteousness. Um, so there's an asmachta. So what's interesting is that when you look at the truck for this uh, for this pasuk, there's an asmachta over the last pasuk, right? And that indicates a pause, and that has meaning to it. So it's brought down. Why is there a pause there? Because when Hashem told Abraham to count the stars, Abraham actually stopped and he did count the stars, right? So he counted the stars, really? Like who stops and actually counts the stars? So. That's when when you believe in something, when you care about something, when something's important to you, even if it seems like an impossible task, you're compelled to do it. And Hashem's telling uh, Abraham to look up at the stars and count the blessings. Ko uh, these will be your offspring. And I feel like Hashem has. I feel a little bit like Abraham. <laughs> I feel a little bit like Abraham because. <laughs> Because I cannot count the blessings, I cannot count the amazing things, the reasons why I love, admire, and respect you, right? You are, you're beautiful, you're intelligent, you're talented, you're driven, you're an amazing dancer. <laughs> I wrote a million things because I wanted to, because I was compelled to, and... You have to say them all. You're funny, you're creative, you're athletic, you light a broom, you're filled with abundant laughter and joy and feeling, you're an incredible dancer, you're a great singer, you're a great friend, you're instantly lovable, you're cool, you're fun, you're passionate, you have amazing style, and incredibly warm and giving family. And Hashem says, Gaze up at the stars, the Bet Nahash uh, and, and count the stars, right, into Kalos Horosam, um, if you're able to count them. I cannot name all the blessings that, you know, that, that you bring into my life. I can't name all the reasons, all, all the ways I love you. There are too many, just like the stars. But when Hashem tells me, look, Daniel, look at your heaven, I just want to stop and start counting. <laughs> for sharing in our simcha. We look forward to sharing many simchas with you uh, very, very soon. And I want to give a, a, a bracha as well to, uh, to everyone that, uh, you know, for, for Parnassah, for, for Shalom, for health, and for all the good things in life. 
Um, so, so thank you all.